they're the defending conference champs and we're the defending Citrus Bowl champs. So uh, sort of a little reversal from years past. September 19th, 1998. Number six, Tennessee, home to number two, Florida, in front of over 107,000 fans. Philip Fulmer hoping to end a five-game losing streak to Steve Spurrier and the Gators. That had been our kind of our Achilles heel, you know, for, for a number of years. And if they had had the playoff system then that they have now, we would have likely been in four, at least four of those playoffs, Final Fours. But interestingly enough, so would Florida. Defense wins championships is what they say, and Florida supposedly had one of the best. After forcing Florida into five turnovers, it was obvious Tennessee had a pretty good one, too. We want to have, have a chance to make a name for ourselves, you know, and, and show people that, you know, Tennessee defense, I mean, is for real. Tennessee held the Gators to minus 13 yards on the ground. Their defense played lights out. I mean, they just played outstanding, got the turnovers we needed. We had not found ourselves offensively, to be honest, and, and Florida was a very good defensive team. Just 235 yards of total offense, but they got the plays when it counted, maybe the biggest on third and 25 in overtime and facing a long field goal. T. Martin took off and picked up valuable yards. Uh, I tried to scramble as far as I could to get Jeff in some good field goal position, and it came out good. It came out better than good. Jeff Hall was perfect on a 41-yard field goal to give Tennessee the lead. Just something about that night that was just, just special. And, you know, I still remember kicking the field goal. All right, we're up by three. Go to the sidelines, hang out, we'll see how this goes. It took another great stand by the Vols' gritty defense and perhaps fate as that field goal by Collins Cooper sailed wide left. The officials wave it off and then it just went crazy. <laughs> People flying out of the stadium, tearing down goalposts, stealing CBS cameras and pulling up the grass and, you know, I mean, what are the policemen going to do? Nothing. <laughs> You kind of wish you could go back just for a second and relive it because it did go so quick and maybe you just didn't appreciate the gravity of it, but that was without question the most um, crazy, rowdy, memorable environments I think I've ever had as a football player.